Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Good morning, Dr. Carrie Peterson. Thank you for joining me on the Valder Beebe Show live from Dallas, Texas. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Dr. Peterson is a board, certif- board certified in internal medicine, and she's in private practice in Manhattan. But today she has expert advice for you and for me to help you and your family navigate this year's cold and flu season. All right, Dr. Peterson, this is a hard sell because we're wearing shorts in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> you are so lucky. We're, at, we're having a heat spell here, but... It's going to fade quickly. It is. It will turn to that season we talked about, cold and flu. How do we do better each year? And I know parents want to do better every year. Well, I have three tips for preventing the illnesses of the cold and flu. The first is to wash your hands regularly. That's for a full 20 seconds with soap and water. The next thing is to avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth because that is how we spread germs to ourselves. And then lastly, Valder, I recommend that you get the flu shot, and that includes children as well. Okay, I really agree with that. I'm actually hosting an event this weekend. I'm not throwing it, but I'm hosting an event where people can come and get free flu shots. And the people have been asking me, so tell me, what, what can draw them to my event for the flu shot? Because people keep telling me, oh, I don't know, I don't know about that flu shot. They told me it didn't work. And I don't believe that. Well, I, I think the biggest myth that's spread about the flu shot is I don't want to get the flu shot because it's going to give me the flu. And I just want to let your listeners view and viewers know that that is not the case. You absolutely cannot get the flu from the flu shot. And it really is your number one way to protect yourself from getting the flu. And I can tell you, having the flu is no fun. You miss days of work. You feel miserable. So it's really worth it. Oh, yeah. We should remember. I think everybody's had the flu at least once. Okay, here's a couple of myths. Does chicken soup really help you with these cold and flu symptoms? Well, it does, Valder. The chicken soup has antioxidant properties that can help relieve congestion and boost your immune system. And while there's no uh, cure for the cold or the flu, there are some tips I have to help alleviate symptoms. Chicken soup is one of them. I also recommend getting lots of rest, drinking lots of fluids, using a cool, wet washcloth if you have a fever, Saltwater gargles help for a sore throat. And if you're having ble- breathing issues, I do recommend using a humidifier. There have been studies that have shown that the flu virus thrives in dry weather and dry places. And if you keep the humidity in your home between 40 to 60% with something like Vicks humidifier, then you can reduce the survival of the flu virus significantly. All right, and parents should remember that Vicks from our childhood. And I got a question about this. When do we t- determine not to go to school or keep our kids home when we, we, we think they're sick and we don't know that we're sick? Uh, the three questions a parent should ask when they're determining if their child should stay home is, number one, do they have a fever? If they have a fever of 101 or more, keep them home. So really the first step to, is to gauge what their temperature is. And I work with Braun. They offer the Thermoscan ear thermometer, which is the number one recommended among pediatricians and moms. And basically, it's very accurate. The ear canal sits right next to the eardrum and shares the same blood supply as the brain's temperature control system, so it is quite accurate. The next, ask yourself, can your child engage in class? If they're too run down, then keep them home. And then lastly, are they contagious? If they are, keep them home. Can we use those for ourselves about going to work? Yes, yes, you can. Absolutely. Same tips for yourself. And I would also say that if you're coughing or sneezing a lot, stay home. Okay. Well, all I need is one sneeze, but I work in my own studio, so that's kind of hard for me. Uh, where would you send my audience online to get more information? Because the cold and flu season is coming, guys. You can go to VixHumidifiers.com for more info. 
Dr. Carrie Peterson, one of the brightest minds on the planet. Thank you, Dr. Peterson. Thanks.